Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sylvia, the owner of Cesar Craft. Today I'll be showing us how to make this flower. Um, you can use this to make an earring. <clears throat> you can also use it to make a ring this way. You can also put it together, make it in. Uh, you can make about 12 to 15 components of it. Then you use it to make your necklace the way you want it. So this is the design. This design, I made this design differently. And so in my next video, I'm going to show us how to make um, this design with another method. So this is the, I'll use the first step for this tutorial now on getting this design. This was made with different pattern and this was made with different pattern. But we can see that it's still the same um, flower. And so I'm going to show us how to make this particular one, this one now. So to get started, I'll be using CCMM crystal bead black. I'll be using black, this is it. And I'll be using my um, 11 seed bead white. Um, here I have it. I'll be using my cutter. I have my needle size 9 attached to my fishing line. I'll be using um, 0.35 fishing line. So that's what I will use for this tutorial. So to start with, I'm going to cut out the comfortable fishing line and attach my needle to it. And so to get this design, the first thing I'm going to do now, I'll pick one black crystal bead, CCMM, then I'll let it drop up. Then I will tie it. I'll use it as a stop bead by tying it. Then I'm going to tie this so that it will look neat. It will not be rough where I will tie it, where the fishing line will go through because we'll have to see the fishing line like this. I can see it. So I will tie it three times to secure this bead. So at this point, this is what I have. So this tail here, we're doing nothing with this theatrally. I um, just have to cut it off. Then I will use my cutter. Then I will cut out the tail. So at this point, this is what I have. I have one attached to it already. So the next thing I'm going to do now is this. I will take my needle and holding this with my hand. And I'll take my needle to pick two, two blacks like this. Then I will let it drop. Then I will let it drop. So at this point, Remember, this is the one I use as my stop bead, this first one here. Then I'm going to pass my needle underneath it in this direction, like this. Then I'll pull, I'll pull my needle. So I have this now. I have it attached like this. So the next thing I'm going to do now, coming out of this bead here, so now after passing underneath it like this, this one, after passing under the one we tied, we use that as a stop bead. So this is what I have. So the next thing I, I will do now, holding it this way, like this. Remember it's facing me, it's facing up like this. Make sure you get this part, this. Then holding it this way, I'm going to pick another two, another two CCMM black. Then after picking it like this, I'm going to pass it under that same bead, the one we use as our stop bead. I'm going to pass it behind it. So at this point, this is what I have. I should have it, it should be like this. It should look like this. This is what it looks like this point. This is what it is. So at this point, having it this way. So the next thing, this is where I'm coming out from. 
like this so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to pass my needle through this bead the one in, on top i'm going to pass through the two beads in front then I'll pass it and i'll pass through the next one that's the two i picked last just pass through the two beads so at this point this is what i have i have it in this form so the next thing to do now i'm going to pick a seed bead i'm going to pick a seed bead a, sorry i'm going to pick a crystal bead 80 cm at this point i'll pick a CCMM crystal bead and I'll pass it through this bead here like this and I have it attached like this this is what I have this is it this is what I have after attaching one so the next thing I'm going to do I'll pass my needle through this next one like this And I'll pull it after pulling it I have this then the next thing I'm going to pick another one CCM then I'm going to pass it through this next one here this one like this so at this point this is what I have I have it like this then you drag, you pull it hard. When you pull it, you have this. So the next thing I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to pass my needle. I'm going to reinforce this six, six mm. Remember it's six, one at the middle and six um, at the top. So I'm going to reinforce, I'm going to pass my needle through this six here yeah, to make it tight. And after passing it in, We'll start the next step. So this is what I'll do. I'll pass my needle through this, like this. I'll pass through this two, and I'll pass through the next two. Then I will pull. Remember to pull as you're doing this. Then I'm going to pass through the next two, like this. So now this is what I have. I'm going to just pass through the next two just to be sure it's tight. So at this point, this is what I have. Then you see that the one we use as a stop bead is shooting out. That's what we have on top like this. It's shooting out now. This is it. And we have six by the side. So at this point, having this this way, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to pick two CCM. Remember, this is where my fishing line, my fishing line is facing this way, facing up like this. And I'm going to pick two CCM and I'll pass it behind this CCM where my um, fishing line is coming out from like this. Then I will pull it. When I pull, this is what I have. I have this attached to it. Then I'll pass my needle through the next one here. Then I'll pull it. Then I'll pick another two, two CCM, and I'll pass it behind that bead, that CCM. So I have the second one attached like this. Then I'll move forward again, pass my needle this way, then I'll pull it. Remember this is what we have. I'm going to pick another six. I'm going to pick another two CCMM like this. And I'll pass it behind this base in this direction. Then I'll pull it again. Then I'll pass it through this again
I'll pick another two. And I'll pass it through this one. Remember, you do the same thing for the six. And I'll pass it through this again. <coughs> like this. Then pick another two. Pass behind this. Then I will pull it. Remember to make sure you're pulling well. Then I'll pass it through the last six here. Like this. Now I'm going to pick another two. That's the last two now. I'm going to pass it through the back of this bead. Then I will pull it. So after pulling, this is what I have. Remember, I, I picked two and I passed through the six at the middle. Like this. Pass through this six here. Like this. So what I'm going to do after passing through the six, this is where my fishing line is coming out from here. I'm going to pass my needle through this bead. I want to reinforce it by passing through this beads I pick now. Every one of it, I'm going to pass through it like this. You go around this bead, these two, two beads you pick. I'm going around the beads. Like this. I'm going, I'm trying to reinforce it. That's what I'm doing actually, just to reinforce it, to make it tight. Like this. Now pass it through this, this one. And I'll pull it. Then the next one, like this. Take your time to do this, don't rush. Don't be in a hurry so that you don't make mistake. So you see the mom, as I'm going around this forming is bringing it together like this. So this is what I have now. Then I'll go around this last one like this. So this is what I have. So at this point, you have it this way. Now it looks like the half of a 30 beaded ball. So this is it. This is what I have now. So you see, this is the first one at the middle, and this is the sixth, and this one is the twelfth on the side. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, because I want to use this particular one to make my earring so i'm not going to add more and so in my next tutorial i will, I will show us how to make how, how to add more for the necklace so this is what i have now at this point you can use this for your ring and which i'll show us how to do you can use it as your earring and so after you have it this way the next thing i'm going to do now is this i'm going to find my way up by passing my needle through this next bead in front. I'm going to pass it through. What I'm doing, I just want to find my way to the one at the middle. I'm coming out here. I'm going to pass my needle through the next one like this. Then I will pull it. Then now pass it through the first one we picked. We use as our stop bead. So at those points, you determine whether to use um five seed bead or seven seed bead or nine seed bead or thirteen seed bead. Your seed bead should be old. That's how I make mine. So if you want to do it any other way, it's your choice at this point. So, but for this particular one, I'm going to pick um seven seed bead for it instead of five or thirteen or nine. 
so the same thing I did with this this is seven I picked then you can also decide to pick well, whatever number of seed bead you want so coming out of this middle one like this I'm going to be picking seven I'll pick five seed bead for this middle one this first one now five seed bead I have my five seed bead like this then I'll pass it back through this same bead like this then I'll pull remember to pull your needle so I have this one attached then it's facing me now I'm going to pick another five another five seed bead I have five like this then I'm going to pass it behind it remember the bead your fishing line is coming out from you pass it behind so at this point i have this attached to it so the next thing i'm going to find my way to the second one that's the six down here then i will pull it like this so i'm going to pick seven at this point i'll start picking seven now pick seven seed bead I have my seven seed bead attached now. This is seven. And I'm going to pass behind this bead and I will pull. So I have this added. Then I'll pass my needle through the next one, through this next one here. Then I will pull it again. Then I will pull. And I'll pull it like this. Then I'll pick another seven. Pick seven seed bead. This seven seed bead, I'm going to go through the back like this. So I have the second one attached, then I'll pass through the next one, like this, I'll pick another seven seed bead, pick another seven seed bead, this is seven seed bead, I'm going to go <coughs> through the back, then I'll pull it like this so I have this attached and I'll pass my needle through the next one like this I'll pull it I'll pick another seven seed bead This is seven again. I'm going to pass behind this bead. Remember where my fishing line is coming out from, I'm going to pass behind it. Make sure you don't skip anyone as you're doing this. Remember, don't rush, take your time to do this, to achieve this design then. I'll pass it through this. Then I'll pick another seven. Seven seed bead. This is seven. I'll pass behind this bead here. Like this. Then I'll pull it. I'll pull. Then I'll pass through the next bead. Like this, <clears throat> then I'll pick. I'll pick another seven. I'll pick another seven seed bead like this. Then I'll pass. This is the last six. This. Then I will. I will pull it. So at this point, this is what I have. 
so the next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to find my way down here find my way to this point that's the trough down and then be careful as you're doing this so now I'm here so I'll do the same thing I did here since I'm coming out of this bead I'm going to pick seven seed bead again I'll pick seven seed bead then I will go behind it like this then I'll pass through the next one like this and I'll pass through the next after picking my seven this is seven then I'm going to pass through this bit the back of this bit just like what we've been doing remember you don't skip any bit if you want to achieve the design the full design don't skip any bit as you're doing this so I have this attached and I'm going to pass through the next one in this direction like this I'm going to pick seven again so I'll continue like this until I've gone around this to this last 12 this is another seven the last 12 I picked in this room we are what I'm doing now go around those 12 I'll continue with this until I've gone around this 12 like this once I finish with this part then I will show us the design this is what I have at this point so at this point I've been able to cover this other side so left with this one here so I'm going to pass through it now just through this one I'll pull then I'll pick seven one two three four five six seven so remember this is the last one then i'll do the same thing we've been doing before like this i'll pull it this way then i'll pull it now i have the last one attached this way so now just to find the way to secure my fishing line then tie and cut off then I'm going to pass through. I'm passing my needle because I want to tie it. I just want to reinforce it and secure my needle, cut it out. So I'm going to what I'm doing. I'm passing through this CCM inside. Like this. You may not see very well now, but just to get the idea of what I'm doing, then I'll go to this point. I'm going to pass through this seed bead in your feet here. Pass through the seed bead. I'm going to pass through the seed bead. Then I will tie. See, tie it. I'll make a loop and tie it. Then I'll pass back through that same seed bead. So just pass through the seven seed bead. So coming out of this place, I have to pass through the next CCMM. Any space I see, I'll pass through a CCMM. Then I'll pull it and cut. So that's what I want to do actually now. I'll pass through the CCMM. So after passing it through this system, I will pull. I will pull it. So this is what I have at this point. Then I'm going to cut it off. So 
so there's the result here so now that I'm done with this design the next step I'm going to do now I'm going to cut a fishing line face I'm, I'll be using two needles at this point then I will I just finish attaching my needle my both needles then I have my fishing line so here is the under and this is the front of this design so I'll just turn it and I'll find the way past my needle I'll pass one of my needle to this 22 of this CCMM under like this then I'll pull it I'll make it stay at the center of it like this so I'll let it form so at this point you decide whether you want to do matting or any other style since it's, um, I'm doing it I'm using it for a ring and so I'm going to pick I'm going to pick three seed bead on my right three seed bead three seed bead on my left three seed bead on my left then I'll let you drop then I will take three seed bead again to crisscross I'm going to crisscross the boat I'm going to crisscross crisscross the three seed bead like this I'll crisscross it then I'll pull it so I have bit attached like this and then the next step the same way I'll continue three on my right three on my left three on my right three on my left my left then I'll use three to crisscross it that's the design I want for the ring now pull I have it attached this way this is what I have now so the next thing I'll continue like this till I've gotten the length I want three Three. Then I'll take three to crisscross. So continue like this till you've gone round. Once you get to the length you want it, then we'll attach it to the other end. So I'll continue like this till I get to the length I want it. Then I'll show us how to finish it. So at this point, this is where I am. I've gotten to the length I want. So I'm going to pick three seed bead on my right now. Three seed bead on my right. Then three seed bead on my left as well. Then I will let it drop. Then let it drop. Remember, I passed through two before. Then at this point, I'm just going to use my needle my right needle and pass through this bead so at this point having it like this I'm going to take my right needle and pass it through these two CCMM here then I will pull I'll pull tight like this after pulling it at this point I'm going to tie I'm not crisscrossing now I'm going to tie it remember I just one needle I passed through the CCMM the two CCMM then I just have to tie it I'll tie three times then I'll secure my needle my fishing line and cut it out that will be all for this design so I'm tying it soon I'm done tying it this is what I have now 
after tying it, I may just decide to pass my needle through the CCMM just to secure it, then pass the other one through the next CCMM. Then I'll cut it off. Here, I cut out this. Then also do the same to this other part. So this is what I have. I have my ring done and dusted. So here you go. So go ahead and make yours. Feel free. If you have any question, don't forget to ask me. If you have any concern, ask. And if you've not subscribed, don't forget to do so. Give a thumbs up to this video. Share my videos, like them, and comment if you have any concern. See you next time. Bye-bye.